Check out, I've got a little friend helping me out. Baby or not, but sign will have it if it's not careful. Basically, um, all you need for this project, what we're actually doing is um, putting in a uh, sort of like a mini retaining wall slash mowing strip. Um, so here's the project area here. You can see it's kind of a kind of a slight uh, depression there, but. Um, this here was actually sloped to underneath this fence and it was a real mongrel to mow so what we're going to do is lay some put cement in um, these bricks along the base here and then use our retaining wall blocks to sit on top and then uh, we'll backfill the okay guys so um Part one is complete. What we're doing is just setting up the string lines. Um, we have a nice level solid base. Just makes it easier um, to put the bricks onto when we go to do the little retaining wall blocks. So uh, I'll just measure out a distance between here and here. Oops, hands in the way. There and there, 100 mil. And because the fence is pretty level two. I've measured 100 mil at that end as well. Um, I've got the right height now and what I'll do is use the string line. You can see this brick here put in place. I'm just going to use this beveled edge. Um, can't really see it on this angle. It's going to make sure every brick follows the string line all the way along and I'll make sure that this brick here is level as well before I uh, cement them in. Okay, this is how you make a concrete mix in a wheelbarrow. This is just crusher dust or concrete sand. Count with me now. Five, no. <laughs> Okay, that's five. So you get about eight shovel loads. And what you do is you make a little V in the middle, like so. And then you have your cement over here. Put it in the old V there. Roughly about that much. Then you get your trusty old spade. And what you do is you just mix her up. towards the back of the barrel here, like so. Grab a trusty bit of water. The trick is not to use too much. So this way you can use a little bit of time. Got a full bucket there. Pour, pour small bits in at a time. And what you do is just slowly feed it into the water, mixing as you go. Pour too much water, or if 
you use a hose, uh, you can get the mitts too wet, too sloppy. At least here you can gauge what consistency you need. So I need a bit more because it's pretty dry. So just use another little, little bit. The trick is just small bits at a time. Feed it in. Just tiny bits. Make sure you get right in underneath, down the sides. Keep turning it over. Just the kind of consistency we need uh, for the job we're doing today, sealing it, setting in paving stones. It's not too sloppy and it's not really dry. And it's all mixed in. Now it's time to start. Uh, Laying the bricks. So this is sort of consistency we're after. Okay, we're going to start laying the bricks now, um, cementing them in. That is. So you need a level for this part, a hammer and a trowel, and obviously our concrete mix. So we're going to start against the fence here. So we've got our levels pretty right. Put some cement down. Good thing is we can flatten it out with the trowel. So what we're gonna do cement the first lot in. Now as you can see this is the line we're looking at. We want to have the brick basically sitting in there. It's a bit high at that end. Tap it down. Once we get the first one in, we're pretty much away. Pretty level that way. And we'll also check that way as well. That's pretty good. So that's the first one in. So what we do is just have enough so you can hit it down. Doing this backwards, but once we get past the fence line, we're sweet. Again, we're just using that line. levels so we're going up there so we need to come down how's that looking see level
So we've got the initial stages done. So we'll wait for that to uh, set and then we'll put the, um, the retaining blocks on there. Okay, so we're gonna start laying these bricks. So what I've done is um, cut one and a half. So we can start with a flat edge, sort of semi flat against the uh, fence there. Next one will be that way, like so. Oops, they're filming. And behind just for a little bit of extra support for the bricks. Um, so it's just a matter of it doesn't have to be too tidy because this is gonna be all dirt and grass here. So uh, all I'm doing is sort of giving an extra bit of binding of these bricks to the ones underneath, which you can see down here. Just put some finishing touches on the outside of the gate. So, dumping cement in the gaps, and uh, I'm gonna just smooth it all out so it just tidies up this outside edge. Okay, folks, so um, here's the finished product. So, just backfill it and um, just gotta wait for the grass to grow through. This is the job from the outside. Finished. Come on.